I, I think for me the important message was that this is a global issue. Um, this is an issue. I'm candidly, I'm looking to for the American leadership. I, I think the U.S. has more heft than anyone else in the world. It, it has a clear principled stand against hostage taking that other powers are not willing to call cases hostage. So the British government will not call Nazim a hostage. It will refer to her as being held for diplomatic leverage. So, you know, similar kind of space, but they won't use the word hostage. It's a bit too heavy a word. The US is willing to. I think that's really important to, to you know, call a spade a spade. Can I just quickly add that I, I think it's also really important to realize that this is not a partisan issue. Um, not only just human rights in Iran, uh, but this in particular should be something that we all agree on either side of the aisle. And that the clear message, I think, I hope, is that human dignity is not negotiable. We have always believed that over the past 12 and a half years, based on what we have learned, that pressure works with them. Uh, pressure was the reason that we received the documents in the first place. Pressure is the reason I do believe that the UN filing came through to us. I think that we need to continue as much pressure as possible until they finally resolve these cases. And now is the right time to do it because so much has happened. Um, From all the information that we have right now, and without speaking with any specifics, it's the Iranian regime right now that is not coming to the table and is not willing to talk. Uh, and this is a problem not just for the United States, but for the UK and for other countries around the world. And the reason they're not willing to talk in my view, is because there have been no serious consequences imposed on them for the ongoing of imprisonment of hostages, right? If there was, they would have to reconsider their calculations. And while I, you know, believe that they're, you know, a, a, you know, the government of Iran is an authoritarian regime that violates the human rights of its own people and of foreigners with, with utter impunity, um, they're quite rational, I think, in their actions and in their desire for self-preservation, and we simply need to change their calculus. And we have not done anything sufficiently significant to change their calculus.